welcome back to tech logic guys so today we have come up with the most important video that is the security in the cloud or you can say security in the aws cloud like the most important part of any application is the security and in this video we will show you how you can just uh, secure your application using the various aws services we're going to go through the introduction of the uh, the most important security service in aws that is the iam and yeah that's pretty much it because you can, you can imagine like your application without security is like the <laughs> ice cream without ice <laughs> just kidding <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with the video. You can see here, if I type here, you can see, let me type IAM and yep, go to IAM. That is the Identity Access Management. So whenever you create a new AWS account, you see these options, these five options that AWS recommend you to complete. And you can see I have completed two out of five options this is not a good practice and you should you should complete all five of them and what are these five options the first option says that delete your root access keys which is recommended by aws whenever you create a new account you should delete your uh, root access key so that no one else has access to your root aws account because anyone get this those keys he can take actions on your behalf to create any service on to delete any service as well so i have deleted this uh, root access key so it is showing tick here second option says that activate mfa on your root account so mfa that is the multi-factor authentication which is you should add definitely add when you're working in production or you're working in a company on your aws account because it adds another layer of uh, security on your aws account so how it works if you if i click here on the manage mfa i go here so aws uses the google authenticator yep aws uses the google authenticator service to generate a six digit token temporary token that you have to enter when you type in your username and password then you have to enter that particular six digit six, uh, temporary token from google authenticator application then only you're able to log in with your AWS account which is a good practice and you should do that as well I haven't done yet third option is the create individual IAM users as you can see there are six IAM users present on my account right now that is why it is showing tick here because I have already done that use groups to assign permission here you have to create a group I haven't created any single group here right now you see zero then you will see this option is tick we're gonna talk about the groups just in a moment and the last option says apply an IAM password policy so if I click here and go here it is showing me to set the password policy and what is this password policy it is just the password policy for your AWS account that you can say like after you create this policy all the IAM users have to follow this password policy to set their individual passwords which is again a good practice so come back to dashboard create okay you see I have already created this these users on my AWS account it is saying the access key age because uh, none why it is showing none I'm gonna tell you in a second and you see for these two it is showing none and for these is showing me some value in days and the password age this is today today last activity today because I have logged into my AWS account with these two users today only and this last user like last login from the master users 113 years ago so let's create a user and clear all your doubts let's name type something here let's say the test security user you see here there are asking me the access type so basically there are many ways by which you can access your aws accounts first is the aws management console access you can see i'm um, right now i'm uh, accessing my aws account with the management console another way is the programmatic access where aws will generate an access key id and a secret access key by which you can use it to access your aws account on the terminal like from through the aws cli through the aws apis sdks and so on 
So, but for this video, I'm going to use the management console access. I'm going to show you the programmatic access in the future videos for sure. And I'm going to type here the password for this user. And because I haven't set any password policy for this particular AWS account, it is just going to accept any password that I type here. I'm going to untick this option. Why? Because it is uh, saying that required password reset. What it mean by that? At uh, every time my user tries to log in into their AWS account, the AWS will, you know, change the password. Like the user have to change his password every time when he tries to log into the AWS account. Let's click here. Next permissions. Now you see three options. You can add this particular user to the group you have created, or you can copy the permissions, exact permissions from another IAM user. And the third option saying is attach existing policies. So all these policies that you are seeing here has been predefined by the AWS for your personal use. And for this pub, for this particular tutorial, I'm gonna use the read only policy. Sorry, my bad. I have to see read only policy. Oh. I have to search it here because sometimes it's just too messy to type the policy name. Let me walk in here. I must see. Yeah, that's the read only access policy. So what does this policy says? It says that the uh, user will going to have the read access on all the AWS services, but he cannot edit or write any of the AWS service. So that means I'm able to log in with this user and I'm going to able to see all the AWS services in my account as well as all the content like my all my S3 buckets, all my servers running in my AWS account and so on. So yep, I want that. Next, add the tags. Let's say the test user preview, create user. User is creating. You see, this this is the URL that I can use to log into my AWS account with the user that I had just created. This number you see, it is the number. This number is my AWS account ID. Because if you want to, you know, log into your AWS account with any IAM user, you have to put in the AWS account ID. So let me click here, and uh, and let's try to log in with the user we have just created. Okay, it is loading. Yes, this is my 12-digit account ID. Name, the password I will type in here. Let's log in. Now I should have the read access to all the AWS services. I'm ab I should be able to list all the buckets in my AWS account as well. So it is saying no. Nope. Let's go to S3 and see whether I'm able to list all the buckets in my account or not. And yes, you can see I'm able to list all these bucket here. But what if I try to delete this bucket from this user? Let's try to delete the any bucket. As I want to delete, type the bucket name. It's blue and the log collector. Copy and paste the name of the bucket again. And you see the one error. This says the operation has failed because this user doesn't have any permission to delete or write to any AWS uh, service or object in your AWS account, right? So I'm not able to do that. So that's the advantage of creating the IAM users and AWS obviously recommend you to follow the principle of least privilege, like grant the pri uh, privileges to users uh, the least as you can. Okay, I now have signed off my, off my root account. I have to log in here again. Let me log in here again now i'm in my root aws account again go to i am and let's see what else is there so we have talked about the users now we're going to talk about the groups so what is the group basically group is nothing like let me give an example like let's say you have a team of five developers and two system administrators so what you can do here is you can create two groups one for the developers and one for system admins and you can attach like policy at the group level now you don't have to attach the policy at the user level because when you attach any policy to a group level it is automatically applied to all the users that are present in that particular group 
So now I'm gonna give let's uh, because uh, as there are five developers in my one group, and what I can do, I can attach the access to those services which I have uh, like which are required by my developers. Let's say the AWS code deploy, AWS pipeline, and so on. And what I can do, I can also attach another policy to my sysadmin group. Let's say EC2 access route 53 access, which is which can be uh, useful for their uh, deployment, right? So yeah, that's the advantage of creating groups. Like you can attach policy at the group level, you don't need to attach to policy at the user level now. So yep, and now let's look at the policies. So as I have already shown you, there are some predefined policies from the AWS. Again, you can see here, and you can use any of the policy as per your requirement. And you can also create a new policy if you want. Like AWS also given this cool service known as the AWS policy generator. Let me walk you through it. You can see I'm right now on the AWS policy generator. You can also Google the same and just click on the first link. It will open the same console. Now for let's, let me show you how you can create a policy. So now I'm going to create a new policy of the S3 bucket type. You can also create a VPC policy, SQS policy, IAM policy as per your requirement. And I'm going to say, I'm going to create a policy that will allow uh, a, an IAM user to like put any object in my S3 bucket as well as delete any object from my S3 bucket and delete my bucket as well. So let's name the principal you can, you want to uh, do with this policy. I'm saying that I want this user to be put policy comma separated values and the delete policy. Choose the actions. Uh, you see, this is the delete bucket policy. I want my user to delete a bucket. I want my user to put something inside the bucket. So let's go to the put bucket policy. You should see here. Yep, yeah, this is the put bucket policy. So you see, this is saying Amazon resource name or ARN. What I mean by that? I want. I'm saying wildcard. I have put star here. What what is mean by this star? It means that this policy is applicable to all the buckets in my AWS account. I want this user to be able to do these two particular actions that is the put bucket policy and the delete pol uh, policy on all the buckets that is present inside my AWS account. You see it's going to me review the policy that I have just created and will generate the policy. You see the policy has been generated. You can just simply copy and uh, paste here inside your user let me show you how so just click on the username and uh, add inline policy click here and just you can just simply paste here so uh, this is how you can just simply paste the policy inside the user that you have just created with the aws policy generator pretty cool isn't it so guys uh, yeah there is one more service left that is roles and we're gonna talk about the roles because it is of, like one of the most important and the frequently asked interview questions uh, that is based on roles. So we're gonna make a separate video that is a part two that is specifically dedicated to roles also only. And you see here credential report, you can download the report of all the, you see the users actions that what users have you created from this console, you can download the report for the same organization activity my organization my this is my personal account not my business or company's account that's why it is saying organization is not in use you can also create a organization account as well so yep that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you are now clear with how what are i am users groups and policies how you can create policy with the help of aws policy generator if you have any doubt just tell us in the comment section or you can also connect with us on instagram at the rate techlogic.in we are like very regular on the instagram page and we are uploading daily like weekly videos on youtube channel as well so if you want like ask about any technology questions like you have any doubt in your career you can just ping us on instagram as well so thank you so much guys please like share and comment on this video it will motivate us to make such good content in the future as well. Thank you guys. Have a good day ahead.